Councillor Roger Traherne and I um, were very pleased to welcome Jocelyn Davis, the Minister for uh, Housing and Regeneration, on St David's Day. Uh, if you remember, it was a very nice day, pretty chilly. Um, the daffodils were out um, at the doc's office um, and Jocelyn came to confirm and it was literally that morning that we'd got regeneration status from Barry uh, from the Welsh Assembly Government. And many people in this room have been working hard to get that regeneration status. I can't name you all, but clearly the Vale Council at the forefront, working with myself as the Assembly member, the voluntary sector, um, Pride in Barry, all of those who've worked hard to make sure that Barry has its fair share of the funding from the, from the Welsh Assembly. And um, the last year on St David's Day, we got that good news from Jocelyn, and it was for nine million over the next three years. But of course, then a board had to be formed, an action plan had to get going. Uh, we had officials from the Assembly Government, from the Regeneration Team coming down, hot desking down here, uh, and back, of course, in Cates in, in the Assembly. Um, and those people who had to get their bids together had to work very hard. And this is where we come, of course, to uh, Barry YMCA and the Hub, because Anthea was straight, she was the hot, hot off the block. She was probably the first one who got in her, her proposal and her bid. And that's because I call Anthea, Anthea a social entrepreneur. Do you like that title, Anthea? You're absolutely fantastic at getting the money, getting the people, getting the partnerships. You're, on, you're an entrepreneur, you're a social entrepreneur, um, and you, you deliver for the children and young people who use, and indeed the adults, all the groups who use the hub. But you deliver for the community of Barry, and you got your projects in, and so we've got these wonderful uh, broadcast studios, all of the work that's been done with volunteers, and that fantastic climbing wall, which I'm sure we're going to have a look in at the moment. I'm told it's the first in the UK, is that right, Anthea? Of their kind, of its kind, the first in the UK. So, you know, another first for Barry. Uh, but it is very important that we recognise that the money that's being invested through regeneration is good for Barry. We, we need that money. We rightfully have that money from the Welsh Assembly. But what is good for Barry is good for the whole of the Vale of Glamorgan. I mean, you know, if we can get that economic and social renewal, which means jobs for our young people, which means that we can invest in social housing, uh, in education, in the environment, and all the play areas that have now all round barriers, the barrier, those playgrounds that are now being rebuilt, refurbished, redeveloped developed in some of our more disadvantaged communities is such a such a boost for uh, for Barry and our for communities, but also the investment in the waterfront. Um, and so I think we really must acknowledge that the regeneration of Barry is on its way as a result of this investment with the Vale Council, but with the Welsh Assembly Government money, which we, we worked hard for, but we've got, and we're going to make good use of it over the next two years. So, I mean, for me to be here tonight to celebrate what Anthea and her team, and then Steve. I mean, we've got another entrepreneur, haven't we, and Steve Powell, there's no question about it. Um, Steve and his team uh, got going as well because the two of them said, right, this is what we need, this is what we want. Um, and those very, very early days of Bro Radio, we never thought we'd be here like we are tonight. And um, also, all the work that the YMCA does to ensure that children and young people of all interests, abilities, uh, can engage and enjoy those facilities that we see tonight as a result of that funding for the climbing walls. So it's a great night of celebration. It's a, a day of, con of, of congratulations to Bro Radio, to Barry YMCA, to The Hub, to all of those who've made this happen. And to know that, as far as we're concerned, all the partnership here, and we have public, private, voluntary sector here, a good board, a regeneration board, which is doing its, its work very well, um, that we are looking, moving forward as a re result of regeneration. Um, and that is for the prospects and opportunities, particularly of our young people, children and young people here in the Vale of Glamorgan, and Barry in particular. Thank you very much. Great to be with you. Thank you, Jane, and thank you, Chris, as well. Uh, just before we move on, we'd just, just like to mention to 